So, Brandon, we're here in um, Kherson, the last city in our tour. Right. Um, tell me something. The things that you learned before the tour, the things that you thought about, you know, the whole process, and now that you've done the entire tour, what are the differences? So, yeah, I, I kind of went into this kind of like just wanting to do more research, actually, and more, uh, like, learn more about it. And I talked to, to friends, and of course, if you have friends, they all have an opinion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they would say stuff like, well, you're going to meet a girl and she's going to, you know, leave you in three years. And I would tell them, okay, well, point out an American girl that doesn't do that. <laughs> and, yes. and they didn't have an answer for that. So uh -huh. uh, there was, everybody has an opinion. Some were like, oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. Have a great experience. And some were like, well, let me tell you what you need to look for. You need to look for this and that. So there's a lot of preconceived notions about like what to do. Uh, and until you experience it, you really don't have any basis for what you're making a decision. Yeah, so. so now that you've done the tour, now that you've come over here, yeah. met the people, met the women, um, gone to these socials, what do you think now? I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, and my mentality going in was to just, I'm going on vacation that has the opportunity to meet women and it could turn into something special. But I'm still on vacation and I'm having a great time. Great. So that's kind of the way I went into it. I'm not expecting to have a miracle happen the first day because that's not really realistic. And it's putting a lot of pressure on you. Correct. Too, actually. Because you're here for a short time, you might light a spark and you might have something that you can kindle and like make it grow. But it, if you're expecting it to happen the very first time, that's like trying to win a lot. Right. You might meet an awesome girl, which is cool. Which brings me to my next yeah. question. Did you like the spark? Did you meet a I girl did, that I did. I have met a couple girls. Okay. Yeah, I have met a couple of girls. And, uh, you know, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of apprehensive about this last one. And, you know, I'm, but I've been trying to just go with your flow and go mm -hmm. with each one. Um, and each one, you have your apprehensions. Like, the nickel album was awesome. I thought it was great. When I first was going there, I was just like, man, is this going to be lame? And it wasn't. It was really cool. And then here, I was like, you know, I'm just kind of tired. And, uh, <laughs> Meeting so many women. Exactly. And then uh, it was actually really refreshing tonight. Like, just some, oh my gosh, some gorgeous women here tonight. Yeah. Like, they had the giddy factor. Right. It kind of give you the butterflies. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. Now, obviously, you've seen some videos on the Fallen Affair website. Sure. Um, if you could actually say anything to the guys who are watching this right now that are debating <clears throat> whether or not to come over on a tour, what would you say to them? I, I would say, you know, what I did uh, was do research. Okay. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, there's only a couple companies. Um, I, I would really recommend the Foreign Affair. Uh, I, thought, I thought they did a great job. I thought, um, you know, it, it, was really, uh, it was really fun what they did. But you have to go into it with the right mentality. Go into it and, you know, go into it because you want to have a fun experience and you want to have a great time. That's what I would tell them. Check out our website at firstchoicedating.com.